NPR asked Quid, which controversies will cause the most trouble for presidential candidates before November? Quid uses proprietary software to search, visualize, and analyze massive amounts of text so that organizations can make important, complex decisions. One of our many data sources is global news coverage, everything from mainstream news organizations to niche blogs. We work with corporate clients that use Quid to forecast risks and opportunities on the horizon by tracking which topics are gaining traction with the public versus those that quickly wane in importance. There were plenty of parallels to draw on when NPR asked us which presidential campaign controversies would gain the most attention in the next month. We started by building a timeline of all of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton's scandals from the past year to see which of them spiked. We ended up cataloging nearly 100 controversies, everything from Hillary's emails to Trump saying Heidi Klum is no longer a 10. Those news events generated 7.4 million unique pieces of content in our software. Important point, we're not a political strategy firm, but Quid allows you to use a combination of machine intelligence and human analysis to become as formidable as any expert on a given topic. Quid can generate a number of different outputs to help forecast what lies ahead. A network visualization shows how all the controversies tie together for each candidate. Time signatures helped us identify patterns of news coverage over time. A heat map organizes each controversy and its news coverage. We use that information in combination with our own human understanding to drive our decisions. And while a lot of things about this year have been unusual compared to past campaigns, we actually did find patterns in the madness. We found there were five key signatures for both Trump and Hillary. For example, scarlet letters. They were characterized by very high volume, high persistence, and an extended time period. Or sequels, which are defined as controversies that have peaked in the news more than once, but separated by very low activity. So they go away for a long while and then suddenly reappear. By combining historical patterns with a bird's eye view of what's happening in the news, we can be confident about the kind of events that will come in the future.